Oh, this is a pumpkin. Check it out. And happy Halloween, first of all. Second of all, today I'm gonna turn this pumpkin into a shoe. I honestly don't know where to start. You guys have been loving the series, but this is definitely gonna be the hardest one yet. Step one, I think we need to take this apart and just look at what we're working with. There we go. Hopefully, that's not what my shoe looks like. Okay, I'm thinking somehow I can use the seeds. It might not be a wearable shoe, but it's all about the way it looks. Maybe I can use this as the laces. I'm gonna take all the seeds, put them over there so they can dry, and then we'll start skinning the actual pumpkin. I really hope this works. If it does somehow work, this will be like the coolest thing I've ever done. All right, I'm trying to thinly slice off the skin of the pumpkin. It's pretty strong. If I can cut big pieces and then somehow glue them and just keep building it out and make like a giant piece of like pumpkin fabric leather and then start cutting it out and make my shoe. Now, this is the stuff. It's honestly not gonna hold together that well. So, I got some material. This isn't cheating either. I'm still gonna use all the pumpkin, but I'm gonna like line the back of it with shoe that I like dismantled so I can put it together and know the shape and all that stuff. But I have this fabric. This is gonna be like the backing of the pumpkin. It's gonna go on top and I'm gonna glue it all together. All right, this is my pumpkin toe box. Trust the process, I promise. I have this. Soul saver. It's like a clear coat. I'm gonna coat this with clear and then hopefully it like will stay together and I can bend it and move it like a normal shoe. And hopefully also it like doesn't get moldy with this stuff. I think, I'm pretty sure the shoe will be moldy in a couple days, so. All right, I got the seeds, the guts, the skin. I'm gonna let all this dry and then we'll see tomorrow if it's actually gonna work when it's all dry in the morning. So, um, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's dry. Um. This looks like throw up, but the seeds are all dry. Now, I have an idea. If I take each of these seeds, these, and I cut the front of it off, it's almost like a tiny piece of like plastic. I know it's gonna take a long time, sounds crazy, but if I cut off every side of every seed, I'll get a bunch of these, and then I glue them all together and make like a sheet of seed fabric. Then I cut that out and make the shoes. I'm gonna try this for the next piece of the shoe. This is gonna take a long time, but if this works, it'll be awesome. Okay, I got all these. Now, I have this piece of the shoe. I'm gonna start gluing all these little skins down on it. Try to cover the entire thing. It's been three hours. Look at this. What the heck? It's literally all seeds. This is it. Took so long to glue these all on. And I have my pumpkin. Now, these are gonna both go together. I'm gonna try to sew it. I don't really know if the sewing will work on it, but I'm gonna try. Anyway, I'm gonna glue this together and then sew them together and then we can continue. But so far, it's kinda actually working. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, look at this so far. I finished the front part of the shoe, this is it. Look at the seeds. I think I'm gonna paint this part up here because it looks bad right now because it's like all messy and dirty. And I don't know if you can hear that noise, but look at this. This thing, look at that. It's a food dehydrator. So I, I cut up some pumpkin slices, put them inside there, look at that. Now they're dehydrating in there. It's gonna like turn the pieces super dry so I can work with them better, like leather. And I put the pumpkin guts inside there and hopefully those dry out and become like firm that I can use them on the shoe. Um, but, good morning. My pumpkin is all dried and the dehydrator's been overnight. What? It literally feels like leather. Holy, what? This is crazy. Okay, before I continue on the shoe, I'm gonna paint this pumpkin part this color. I'm gonna use the dry pumpkin skin for this piece of the shoe. I'm just gonna cover this piece of leather with all the pumpkin skin 
and then start making that piece. All right, I made this piece another one. This is seeds. It's gonna go here. This is so clean. This goes here. Dude, I should make it so I can put it on my head. No. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. What the hell is this? Ew. What the heck? Subscribe, bro. So, oh my god. Here's the shoe so far. It's almost done. Now I'm making this back piece right here out of more dried pumpkin to go here on the shoe in the back. I need to figure out a way to do the sock liner. I'm not really sure how. Sew this onto the pumpkin. If I can figure out how to do the sock liner, then I just need to sew that on, lace up the shoes, and they're done. Okay, I think I'm done. Before I show you the shoe, keep in mind, it's not perfect. Also, was made from a pumpkin, so that's all I have to say. Okay, ready? Pumpkin, Nike, duck. This is the only part that's not pumpkin. This is all the seeds, pumpkin skin. It's not perfect, it's kind of weird looking, but I tried, I turned a pumpkin into a pair of shoes. I started with a pumpkin, and this is what I got. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new. I love you guys. Subscribe to Marco, he is so sexy and amazing. He's the best YouTuber on the planet.